Starting this week, Ontario is shifting its method to detect cervical cancer, now opting to provide testing for HPV instead of pap smears, which had long been the standard. But what does this mean for you at home with expert advice? We're joined now by Dr. Amanda Selk, an obstetrician gynecologist at Women's College Hospital. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. I think this is such a great opportunity to remind folks about some, uh, some, some of these details here, but also uh, educate a lot of us out there. So I want to start uh, with explaining the difference between these tests. So with a pap smear, what you're doing is you're um, testing for precancer cells. And with HPV, you're looking for the virus that causes 95% of cervical cancers and the ones that we can prevent with screening. So we're looking with HPV for the actual true cause or people who are really at risk of developing cervix cancer that we can detect precancer changes and treat so that you don't get cancer. Uh, you mentioned uh, cervical cancer there. So this change and transition is timely. There are reports that uh, rates of cervical cancer are on the rise. Can you touch on that and also talk to us about the connection between cervical cancer and HPV? So HPV is the virus that causes the vast majority of cervix cancer. HPV is super common. So 80% of adults in Canada will have acquired an HPV virus at some point in their lives. Um, not to panic if you get a high-risk HPV strain. It's like getting a cold. Most people who get it will clear it. But if your immune system doesn't clear it, it's persistence of the HPV that can lead to cancer. So again, with cancer rates, of cervix cancer in Canada are rising. Um, the data over the last decade is the most recent data is that it's an increasing cancer. Um, we have done very well in this country and made it a rare cancer with it being only 1% of women where it's the fourth most common cancer in women in the world. That being said, with cancer rates increasing, we really need to get on top of it. And HPV screening is a much better test than a pap because paps miss more patients. So the HPV test really identifies those at risk. So it's much better for people. Yeah, and I think that's really important for folks to understand that uh, the testing also helps with the outcome. Early detection is best here in order to get it treated. Yeah, we have great treatments in Canada for precancer changes. Um, so if you have an abnormal PAP or a high-risk HPV strain that's um, more aggressive and an abnormal PAP, then you go on to a procedure called, called colposcopy where we look at your cervix with a microscope. So it sounds a little bit scary, but it's minimally worse than a PAP. And if we detect high-level precancer changes, we're able to treat those. And we have a very good system for this in Canada. It's very, we have lots of trained doctors. We live in a country where your health care is paid for. So this is why our cancer rates are low. But you need to actually go and see a clinician to get your test and to get into the system. So we know that most cancers in Canada, more than half of cervix cancers, are in people who haven't been screened or who are under screened. So it really, mm. really is important to get your screening so that we can help you. Okay, let's talk about the testing here. Who is eligible for this test? How often should you go? So this test is available in Ontario if you're between the ages of 25 and generally 69. Um, if you have a negative HPV test between the ages of 65 and 69 and you're not immunocompromised, then you're done. Um, there's a few people that would be longer and that would be an individual discussion with your clinician. But for most people, it's you start at 25 and if you're HPV negative, then you don't need a test for five years. The only group that needs more frequent testing are those at high risk um, of progression of HPV. So immunocompromised people, if you have HIV, if you've had a transplant, if you have lupus, if you're on immunosuppressive drugs, that sort of thing, you qualify for more often screening. With the changes that we're seeing here with the testing, it's also brought about questions about home kits. Uh, they're offered in provinces like uh, BC, for instance, where people uh, can basically have the opportunity to test themselves at home. Do you think that would be an effective method to boosting testing here in Ontario? I think that there's no question from data from other places that, um, and I, I've done studies in Canada showing that a lot of patients would like 
to have self-screening. I think it's shown that in under-screened people, um, it can help increase your screening rates. Ontario um, was planning this program before there was a self-screen kit available in the country. So uh, NBC was a little bit later. Uh, that being said, I know Ontario has pilot programs ongoing and I think they will bring it to us hopefully in the near future. We just don't know when exactly. But that's one of the great things about HPV testing is that the option does exist. It just doesn't yet exist on the Ontario system where you can do a swab at home. Okay, Dr. Amanda Selk uh, with Women's College Hospital. Thank you so much for chatting with us. I think such a, again, a great opportunity to educate and remind folks uh, out there about this important health issue. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.